was on eBay and I purchased a used Riddell Authentic Revolution football helmet. It looked pretty good condition wise. Overall, looking at the shell, uh, generally pretty clean compared to the other ones that I've seen online. These look like paint transfer scuffs that I believe I can get out with some goo gone. Now I can tell that this person that I purchased it from painted this face mask, uh, but overall the helmet condition looks good. Once I get this liner uh, apart, we'll take a look at what the inside padding looks like, and I'm gonna have to take off the face mask. Uh, I'm gonna have this reconditioned and repainted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove some of the the paint scuffs that you see here with goo gone. Okay, right off the bat, after my first round of Goo Gone, you can tell that most of the uh, the marks are already gone, which is great. I'm pretty pleased with uh, that first pass, and yeah, it looks like it passes the eyeball test from here. Pretty good. So the inner lining is out, but inside padding looks pretty good. I will take that out and clean the inside padding. It does look like once upon a time this helmet used to be black. Uh, you can tell by the sides here, you can see the reconditioned paint here. Um, so what I might do is I might strip out all the interior padding and paint the inner, inner shell white. All right, all the interior padding has been removed and will get cleaned. Here's the interior of the shell. Painting this will sort of allow me to clean up some of the imperfections along the edge here on the bottom. So uh, when the jaw pads are attached, you can still see some of the black, so that'll hide some of that. Right now I'm just going to cut down some of this extra plastic that's uh, in one of the vent holes here. So I made the decision to go ahead and try to remove the warning label. This is made to stay on basically forever, so uh, it's very difficult to get off. Um, in fact, it is not one solid sticker. It is made to flake off if you attempt to uh, take it off. It's basically three layers, this paper layer, an ink layer, and then a thin plastic layer over. So I, the first layer I peeled, I was able to peel off a plastic layer, and then thought that if I saturated the paper enough with the goo gone, it would be able to permeate and um, I'd be able to just sort of rub it off, but that's not the case. So here I've got a blow dryer and I've successfully been able to do about a third of this, maybe a fourth. So little by little, 
is basically you're heating up a spot and you're using your fingernails. Now start I peeling this stuff away. So there you can see sort of the way the paper flakes. Uh, if this is cool to the touch, it's a lot harder to pull off. When you heat up the adhesive, it keeps the paper together and it just makes it easier to uh, to take off. So I'm about 45 minutes in. So I'm making good progress. I think I should be able to finish this in another 10 minutes or so. All right, the sticker is off. Uh, so all that's left here is some of the uh, residue of the adhesive. And now I'm gonna go take some goo gone once more and uh, see if I can get rid of this. So I'm gonna put the camera down and go ahead and start working on that. There is the finished product. So I would say don't even bother with a razor blade. Don't even try it because you're gonna cut up your uh, your helmet. So go with the fingernails and the heat gun or the hair dryer. Okay, I've got the helmet masked up and I'm ready to paint the interior. I want the side jaw uh, pads to match with the white interior so that there's not too much black contrast when you look at the helmet from the side. When I was at Home Depot, I came across this Rust-Oleum Metallic All-Surface Paint and Primer Pearl Mist. So I'm going to give it a shot. After two passes of the Pearl Spray, this is what it looks like. So it's, uh, it's, you can't really tell if you are far away, but once you get up close, just like the real helmet, kind of get an idea of it right there. So there's some, there's some sprays out there that I've seen that people have tried to create this pearl that it just looked like glitter. Uh, this is the closest thing that I've seen to the actual authentic uh, pearl white helmet color. Okay, so I sent in the face mask to get reconditioned and I sent it through Green Gridiron and it's about $25 to get it reconditioned plus $5 shipping, so about 30 bucks to get the whole process done. It took about a week and a half, maybe almost two weeks, but I decided to go with the Light Aqua face mask, which matches that color of the dolphin pretty good. So. Inside the box, it also came with a free uh, metallic flag sticker, so that was cool. But here's the look, and I uh, can't wait to get this on. I think it's going to look pretty awesome. And here's the finished product from a $65 used helmet on eBay to this. Got the decal stickers, orange chin strap, light aqua face mask, 3D helmet bumpers on the front and on the rear. Got the flag and the NFL sticker. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the face mask did take a little bit of, uh, it gave me a hard time getting it on. Um, you can see that there's like a little bit of a gap right here. Uh, it's, this is probably because this is an adult small helmet and the face masks I believe are made for larger helmets. So 
Uh, I ended up using the traditional screws here instead of the quick release point. Um, I had a hard time getting the quick release back in, but I really had to kind of force this through. Um, I had to sort of push push the uh, this jaw area to line up with the screw line here. But all in all, um, you know, this is not going to be used for competition. It's just sort of a display piece. So that's it. Project finally done.